Today I'm going to tell you one adjustment strategy by which you can trade straddles like a professional and if done right you can actually make it completely risk free. Adjusting a short straddle trade can give a lot of pain, especially if the market is moving in one direction and the VIX is also increasing. So if you want to dominate your short straddles, make sure to watch this video till the end. Also drop in a like and a comment. As mentioned, the biggest threat of short straddle is increasing VIX. So strategy creation, I'm going to talk about a little bit. How I sell my straddle is by buying a protective put as well. For example, I'm shorting a call and a put which is trading at 400, 400 each for an example. Now I take the value of the put which is being sold. Now I take roughly 10% of it. So in this case, if the put is selling at 400 rupees, I buy a put out of the money which is trading around 40 rupees. Can be 20 rupees up, or a little down depending on the overall scenario but I buy the put along with the straddle which gives me really really great edge reason being you see market is moving down for example right when the market move down Delta can be adjusted by bringing the call systematically down but where your trade gets killed is that Delta you can manage but increasing Vega becomes too hot to handle and managing both it's really really difficult almost impossible if the rapid moves comes down so with the VIX shoots up the market falls you can adjust your call by bringing it down but it's your protective put which really saves the capital why VIX shoots up the price of put really really go up that is the correct way to sell a straddle make sure that you take complete advantage of it. Also, the price of put is merely 10% or I could even buy 20%, but it really, really protects me because remember, if market moves down, VIX shoots up. We can handle one enemy at a time, that is Delta. Managing Delta is not a problem, but managing VIX, Vega, and managing Delta becomes a problem. But this is not a problem if you know the correct way to make a strategy so this is the creation now i'm going to discuss the scenario what happens what i do personally when market shoots down to my break even how do i manage my trade all right so our nightmare came true market really fell drastically what to do in this scenario first of all i'm not interested in really adjusting my straddle till the time it come close to my break even Simple reason that market can always give a gap down of 2, 300, 400 points and can immediately snap back up in coming days. If this happens, I will be in great profit and I don't want to miss an opportunity to make great handsome ROI on my straddle trade. So I do not touch it. If it really comes down and comes to my break even, then it's a time to act. Why action is required? Because under no cost, I would like the break even to be breached at the downside. So my action will depend on two things. Number one, is the VIX value really high? Number two, if the VIX value is not really high, it's somehow fluctuating at the same level. Let's discuss a, discuss a scenario where VIX is fluctuating at the same level when I sold my straddle in the beginning. If this happens, it's a pretty easy to manage. In that case, I could just bring my sold call real down by three, 400 points. And I can collect more premium by doing that. And if it still goes down, remember there's no need to panic because I've already bought a put, which must be in a massive profit. So I could just keep bringing my call down, make sure that my break even goes even more down and give me more cushion. Number two is if the VIX is really, really high. If this happens at this case, I'm really interested in just closing my straddle and making a new straddle now around 100, 200 points above the current price. The current price is near the break even, okay? And I don't wanna make a straddle right at the break even. 
400, 400 we collected. Market crash down 800 points. I am interested in selling a straddle just 200 points above the my break even. That will give me extra cushion and really juicy premiums. Now, two things is going to happen when I do this. Number one, market can just keep falling it down. And what I could do is I could just, if I'm getting no loss at the downside, I could just leave it as it is because my put, which I bought earlier when the strategy creation, that is giving me some really handsome, crazy returns. So I could just hold that. And my straddle, I don't need to worry because there will be no loss in straddle because I've only sold one put and I bought one put. The call premium which I sold will become zero. Overall net net, I will be in great profit. Now, one more thing can also happen that when we adjust our straddles and we bought it down, market may just not shoot down immediately. It may just fluctuate near our level. If this happened, this is the best case scenario for us because we have sold a straddle and market now is stuck in range. Every day theta will be collected. The position will net net will be in profits without any hassle. Remember, I'm only and only interested in adjusting my straddle till the time it reaches near my break even. Now downside we have spoken a lot, but there is one more thing which can happen that market can just shoot up. What I do in that scenario, I'm going to tell you. But before that, in case you would like to learn the monthly low risk option strategies and the complete adjustments of it, you can definitely contact me. My number is must be flashing on your screen right now. Get in touch, learn on all these strategies. Now, let's see the scenario number three, wherein market now start to go up. Now, when the market start to go up after a massive fall, VIX very highly, very highly likely is bound to drop. Now, remember we have sold the new straddle 200 points up and if market reverses, then the premium of the call is not going to increase very substantially. Now, there's a little homework for you. You can check an option chain of 25th of February. VIX was high, market went up. Put prices went down drastically, wherein the call pricing hasn't increased as much as the put prices went down. That is the effect of VIX. So when it comes near to my strike, I will book the position and come out in profit. In case I am not able to do so and market just keep going up, Remember, when market keep going up after a fall, 90% chances, more than 90, I want to say 99%, but if market goes up, then the VIX is dropping and then I could just bring my put little up. Now, a couple of important points is that, first of all, I'm not touching my put which I bought at any cost. I'm not doing that. That is the protection which I have. Number two, I'm only selling a straddle when the VIX is really high. If you haven't seen my video on the straddle, I'll recommend that you definitely watch it. And one more important point I thought I must share with you as well, that if the market has reversed now and VIX is falling, I could obviously bring my put up and make it inwards. I could do that, but there is also one more thing I could do that I could create the credit spread, the put credit spread. If I do that, I get the margin benefit and I increase my protection on the upside. So this is something which I can which I can also do. Now, this is not the only way to manage the straddle, but I've given you a sort of a beginning how you can trade straddles like pro and just don't do the losing trades, which most people do. Now, this is not the only way to adjust. There are at least two or three ways to do it. Maybe some of them are even better. Some of them are even worse, depending on what the market condition overall is. Remember, short straddle is a really, really good strategy. If done right, and if you know the adjustments, what to do, when to do, how to do, then this can be really, really rewarding strategy because theta value is really high. It's one of my favorite strategies, but there are strategies which are much higher, much greater in prof profitability and the risk is also low and the adjustment is also pretty simple. So in case you would like to learn that, definitely can contact me 
and you can get to know all these details and you can have those strategies for life. So that is all from me. I hope you liked the video guys. I'm making a video after quite some time, but I hope that you appreciate the effort. Do leave the comment down below in case you want more clarity on anything. All right guys, till the time, signing off and I'll see you on the profitable side. Bye-bye. Thank you.